The Las Vegas Raiders will begin the process of evaluating the trade market for Derek Carr. This morning, Carr himself posted a farewell message to the Raiders and their fans on Twitter. Well, Bun, do you understand why the Raiders appear to be cutting ties with Carr? Yeah, money. That's all this is. Look at the timing of it. When they want to get rid of him, they don't want to have to pay, you know, guaranteed more money, like two more years worth. Or, you know, a lot of times it's roster bonus, signing bonus. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to have the, the Raiders are poor relative to other NFL teams, even with that new stadium. Tony, they just are. They don't have the money that, say, Stan Kroenke has. I mean, everybody knows that. And so the Raiders don't want to pay him that money, and they'll get a guy on a rookie contract that can pay a whole lot less. They can see if they can build around somebody while he's on said rookie contract and maybe stay in contention that way. But they don't appear to have the money, and if they have it, they don't want to spend the money. And again, wealth is relative when we're talking about the other big boys, the big owners in the NFL. Raiders ain't in that group. Yeah. I'm going to go to the coach, Josh McDaniels. It is clear that he wants Derek Carr out of there entirely. So I'm going to assume he's got somebody in mind that he wants, and I'm going to assume that somebody is either Jimmy Garoppolo or even Tom Brady. But I don't think that Josh McDaniels has earned our trust as a coach. He ain't power either. Uh, this is, he, he finished 6-11 and 11 with the Raiders with Devontae Adams. I mean, he, had, he inherited a playoff team, and he drove him right into the ground. After a 6-0 and start years back in Denver, he's like 11-28. and So I think it's fair to ask if he knows what he's doing. You know what I smell for Derek Carr? Look, Derek Carr is not a top-10 quarterback. I know where he's, he's going. Half. He might be 15. He's though. not top-10. Might be 15. Uh, uh, top half, not top-10. Okay. He'll, he'll start on a mediocre team as he has his entire Maybe career. Going. He won't hurt it. He won't improve it. I smell Washington. Of you course. know I'm saying that. Of course. I smell yes, Washington so for Derek Carr. Yes. What do you smell? Washington. That's, the, that's, that's <laughs> that club's move. Now, if Daniel right. Snyder no longer owns a team, maybe that changes things altogether. That would have been a Dan Snyder move for about 20 years. 20 years worth of going to get him, of going to get Carr. But, Tony, th th there's no real indication that the Raiders, oh, Josh McDaniel, please, he doesn't have any power to dictate who's going to be his quarterback. And he didn't, he didn't earned it. All right. That's Texan who has not played in five weeks and seems unlikely to play this Sunday. Jackson is famously representing himself in contract negotiations with the Ravens. His contract is up after this season. Wilbon, where does Lamar Jackson's uncertain status leave the Ravens both short and long term? <laughs> it leaves them treading a lot of water, Tony, because you got two dilemmas here. One, you don't know what he's willing to give, and if he's willing to give the way he did in those first three seasons when he was the MVP, one of them, he's just 25 years old. You don't know what he's willing to give you if he's not signed. Is he unhappy? Is he going to get out there and risk life and limb? And then you've got the, oh, wait, when he does risk limb, it's too often. No one except Justin Fields, who's a pup, no one has been hit more, contact hits, they call it, than Lamar Jackson. So, so e e even when he's out there, he's at risk. You don't know if you have him. And then if you can't get him out there, what's the point? The Ravens are in a predicament here, Tony. They need this guy to win. They've built everything around him specifically. And now you can't get That's him right. out there. You don't know if he's willing or ready to play physically and emotionally. What, is, what does all that mean? No, I, I, I'm with you. He's a great player. He is. There's 25 teams in the league will throw their quarterbacks out if they can get this guy. He's an MVP player. The reason you want him is because in the games that he's missed this year, the Ravens have averaged 12 points a game. Yeah. The only offense worse are the inept New York Jets. And the reason you're nervous is because you don't know if he's really hurt or if this is a business decision that he doesn't want to go out there and jeopardize himself. And meanwhile, your team has to go on. 
John Harbaugh says all the time, we want him, we want him, we want him. Well, I, I'll tell you this, Mike, and I, I'm not sure he should be his own agent, but that's a different story. Kyler Murray got paid and Dak Prescott got paid, and they ought to pay this guy. He's a rare talent, Mike. I blame the Ravens for this. I do. I blame the Ravens more than I blame Lamar. Well, Tony, look, and even if now they franchise him and don't reach an agreement a long then. term, is he going to be unhappy? We saw this play out uh, in Washington with a guy who went to Minneapolis ultimately, and they haven't had a quarterback Kirk since Cousins. with Kirk Cousins. So, Mike, this is uh, that's, a, that's a lose-lose. Yeah, a franchise is. thing is a lose-lose. At quarterback. It is. It is. Sean Payton may, may 